hi welcome back to my channel today i am going to be doing quite a big disney haul <laughs> Disney World for a week as you would have seen in my Disney World vlog go check it out I'll leave a link in the bio and I bought quite a few things it did go a little bit crazy at some points but I feel like I was actually really good at my money as a whole so here's what I spent and bought in Disney World I'm going to start with this bag so my first purchase in Disney was the very famous Minnie Mouth is. Everyone had these in the parks and I just, I felt left out and I feel like you could not go to Disney and not wear mini ears. I just, did you really go to Disney if you didn't? Or these pretty much the majority of the time through the park. Yeah, now I just use them as a headband for makeup. These were really expensive. These were about $30, which I think is really pricey considering you can only wear these in Disney. So in Disney, you get a lot of souvenir cups from different stores, restaurants, stuff like that. So I have a few. First souvenir cup is from Disney Springs. Now this is a woody boot. Um, they had a lot of Toy Story themed stuff to celebrate the release of Toy Story 4. So here is the woody boot. Um, I'll do close up. There's Bonnie on the bottom because obviously Andy's gone now. But this was a cup. I had a slushie in here and the slushies in Disney are so sugary. I could literally drink up to about here. It's a really cool boot. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. Like, I don't know where to put it in my room. This cup is from Hollywood Studios. It was from a cafe called Primetime, which is basically a 50s themed restaurant. It was so cool and I loved it. There was this special drink that you could get. It was amazing, but here's what it looks like. It's just got retro Mickey Mini on it. And I think it's really, really cool. <laughs> have another one because my mum bought one. In a few of the drinks we got light up ice cubes. I don't know if this is a new thing in Disney but they gave us a bunch of light up cubes. So that's fun to have in your drink. The last cup that we got was from Starbucks. So I asked for an extra cup because I wanted to keep it. Obviously it looks like a normal Starbucks cup and then on the back it has Disney parks with characters, icons of things like crowns, stars, hats, balloons, all stuff like that. I think it's really cute and yeah, so I got that. <laughs> is everything for this bag. Next bag I'm going to show you are the little bits and bobs that I bought. I'm going to put prices on the screen for everything that I bought in case you guys go to Disney and you want to buy some of it. This isn't a purchase as such but when I go on holiday or anywhere, I like to keep really pathetic things. I don't really know. I don't know if anyone else does this. Again, we went to Starbucks a lot in the park. And we got croissants on a lot of the days. So I kept the bags because, again, they have the Disney parks on there. So I kept the bags. <laughs> I don't know if that's weird, but I kept it anyway. So when you um, go to Disney, if it's your first time, then you get a first visit badge. So here's what that looks like. My name rubbed off it because of how hot it was. So my name is rubbed off. I bought this hand sanitizer. So Stitch is one of my favorite Disney characters. So I got a hand sanitizer and I thought it was really cute. This was $10 for a hand sanitizer. Very expensive, but why not? So here's what that looks like. In Disney, they're really big on their pin trading and pin collecting. I'm not like into it, like as in I collect them, but I did get two pins because I thought they were really cute and I wanted them. So the first pin that I got was this American Mickey face. I got this because obviously it's Mickey head and it's because it's got the American flag in it. It was kind of like I went to Disney World in America, Disney World Florida, Orlando. Not the whole trip in America, I think we went to about, we honestly saw about five different enclosures with otters. And I'm obsessed with otters. My dad loves otters. We all are obsessed with this. I was seeing this pin throughout the whole of Disney, every store I went to in every park. I was really like, no, I'm not gonna buy it. I don't need it. I'm not gonna use it. 
but I caved in on the very last day. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna buy it because you're not in Disney, you know, every single day. So I bought it, it's the Otters from Finding Nemo. So they are the pins that I bought individually. So this item, I was really contemplating whether to buy it or not because it was so, so expensive for how small it was. Throughout the whole trip, should I buy it, should I not? And then on the very last day, I didn't buy it. And I was like, you know what? I don't need it, it's fine. Um, I really wanted it though, but I just was like, I can't justify paying this price. When we got home, the day we got back, my parents actually bought it for me and I didn't even notice or realize that they bought it. But here's what it looks like. It, you could probably tell by the box what it is. How cute is the box? I love it so much. But inside it's a little jewelry set, so you have a necklace and earrings, and I think it's so cute. I'll give you a close up now. Here's what they look like. I think it's really pretty. You can see the price on the box. It's very expensive, but it's real diamond, real silver. I love it. This is probably one of my favorite items that we purchased throughout the whole um, trip. In it, it says Disney World Authentic or Disney Parks authentic original i've been wearing this necklace every single day obviously not today because i wanted to show you but i've been wearing it every single day that's all for this bag i'm going to move on to another big one in magic kingdom they had a christmas shop where you could just buy baubles and christmas themed stuff so we bought a bauble i really don't trust myself that i'm gonna drop it so i'm gonna put it on this side it had so many to choose from they were all really cute very expensive but they were all very nice so we decided to choose this one so it's basically a glass globe and it's got mickey minnie and the castle back just says most magical place on earth and it just says walt disney world so yeah i really love that and again very pricey but i feel it's worth it i really want to go back to disney i miss it so much <laughs> Almost every single day, we have a heavy shower every now and then. Um, in Florida, you do get the occasional thunderstorm, and it did start to pour down in Magic Kingdom. So this is where we got these from. So we had to buy ponchos. Everyone in the parks had these, because, you know, Mother Nature's unpredictable. <laughs> so here's what the poncho looks like. It's basically clear, but then on the back, it has Mickey and it says Disney Parks and it's just got all the places where a Disney park is. We bought one, so there's another poncho in here, but they're all the exact same. I bought two t-shirts. So the first t-shirt that I bought, I saw loads, of, quite a few people my age wearing this and I saw it and I fell in love with it the first time I saw it. The color is yellow or like a pastel yellow. Second of all, it's, it looked really retro and I really, really liked it. So. This is the t-shirt that I bought. So it looks like this, it's just a yellow basic t-shirt and it just says Walt Disney World and it's all rainbow like lettering. I think it's really cool. I got this in a size small. And the second t-shirt that I bought was a, a last minute decision. This is what it looks like. It's basically just a basic green. Green? <laughs> basic grey t-shirt and it has a vintage mickey on the front I think everyone has a t-shirt like this but i really wanted it and i liked it i've got this in a size medium so they are all the tops i bought from disney now on to the last bag the package that we had i can't remember what it's called i apologize but the package that we had we had access to magic bands we were given again to celebrate the release of toy story 4 they had a lot of Toy Story themed stuff, so they gave us this limited edition magic band. Mum couldn't find her magic band on one of the days. Um, it was We actually ended up finding it, it's here. But she couldn't find it, so we only have two magic bands. It's a nightmare to use the card because you have to get it in and out when these are just on your wrist and you just go boop time. So my mum wanted to get a magic, so we went to go get my mum a magic band. Um, but my mum didn't see any she liked, so she, was like, so she said, Meg, you can pick one because there's none that I like and I'll just have your one. So I went for a basic <laughs> plain pink um, magic band. It's really plain <laughs> compared to them ones. So I don't know if it's the same for everyone, but we got given these for free. If you wanted to have your own one where you picked what you got, 
because this we didn't get to choose, we just got given these, then you have to pay $15 separate. So for anyone wondering, that's why. Some postcards, um, we got this one, yeah, we got that. <laughs> And then we also got this one from the parks, the holographic 3D one. And it just has the four famous landmarks from each park. And then you just got like the classic characters on the front. I'll show you that now. And the last, oh no, the second to last thing that I got from Disney. Um, again, I'm not a pin collector, but I thought this would be a nice thing to buy so I can hang it up and possibly pin photos to it. So I got a lanyard with pins on it. How's that? So the ribbon itself, it's a 2019 and it's just got the autographs of Pluto, Mickey, Minnie and Donald. And then you get four pins with it. You get Minnie, Donald, Pluto, and Mickey. All those Polaroids. There's like a big stream of them. All those Polaroids are from Disney, so I was thinking I could pin them onto here as like a display piece. So that is all for the bags. Now for my biggest and most expensive purchase throughout the whole Disney trip. I bought a giant stitch plushie. Here is the biggest plushie I've ever owned in my life. It's very soft. This was a very, um, I didn't actually think I was gonna buy him, so a little story time behind this guy. I was scrolling through Pinterest one day just looking at like Disney posts and like outfits and stuff. I came across a thread almost of girls who were in Disney and they were hugging this giant stitch. I have to buy this stitch, you know, I need him, but I didn't actually believe myself and I was saying to like all my friends and my family, I was like, I'm buying this giant stitch and I'm going to fit him in my suitcase and bring him home. I don't care how big he is, I don't care how expensive he is, I'm buying him regardless. We went to this gift shop in Epcot and it, and they had him. My mum said, you're gonna buy him? I said, no, he's too, he's very expensive and I don't know if I have any room for him in my suitcase. And then my dad said, We've got plenty of room in the suitcase, you can buy him if you want. He's giant, he's big, he's fluffy, and I love him very much. So that is everything that I bought from Disney. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. And feel free to comment any video suggestions, I'm always open to doing people's suggestions. I'll be reading the comments. Thank you so much for watching and bye!